Welcome to San Diego. Hey guys, so I'm here at Sunset Cliffs and we're gonna go over the top three things to do in San Diego. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go over about nine or so things you can do for free in San Diego. Some are for everyone and a couple of the bonus um, free things that you can do are just for military members. As you may know, San Diego is a military town, especially um, with the Navy. So there are a lot of things that you can do for free for Navy members also. Okay, so number one is go to the beach. I've mentioned this before, but there are plenty of beaches in San Diego and they're all free. Um, I mean, no entrance fee to get in free parking so definitely number one is go to the beach okay number two go hiking hiking is also free there's plenty of hiking trails in the San Diego area one of the famous um, and popular ones is Torrey Pines which is in La Jolla um, I guess you could probably hike here I'm not sure if many people hike but they definitely uh, walk and run along this area just running along the coast you can always research online places to hike and it's definitely definitely free so number three would be going to a park um, parks are always free a lot of them um, of course have free parking i haven't been to any parks that charge you to park um, so you can bring your own food your own games your own entertainment um, if you have you know basketball or tennis rackets or you know anything that you like to do outdoors just bring it along go to a park set up camp um, you can um, take advantage of some of them have fire pits that you can just light up for free. So when it gets cool at night, you can light up a fire pit. Um, you can take advantage of the free um, grills and you can grill outdoors. It's just really, really a good thing to do. So definitely go to a park. Number four would be a natural lookout, um, such as where I am now. So right now I'm at Sunset Cliffs. Um, it's a free lookout. You know, you're just walking along the coast and you see rocks and you see beautiful waves and it's just really beautiful to look at. I'm just in one section of it here but it run, runs a good way up the coast this way and a longer way up down the coast this way um, and there's plenty of places to park along here. Uh, this isn't the only one. You can go to La Jolla uh, Cove and um, there's plenty of other lookouts. So if you like views, if you like the outdoors, it's definitely a good place to go. Another great lookout point that's also free would be Mount Soledad National Veterans Memorial. Since we're talking about military, this one's a great one also. Um, great views from the top. I recommend doing a Google search um, just so you can find different views all over San Diego County. This particular one is in La Jolla, so here you get a great view of La Jolla and then also a great view of San Diego. Um, so it's very beautiful. Definitely recommend it. Number five, I went over a little bit of it, would be sports. Um, so if you're really into sports, you can find an open court, you know, tennis court, basketball court. Um, there's a lot that are outdoors. It's, you know, not necessarily at a park specifically. Um, you can do golfing, um, just depending on where you go. There may or may not be um, an entrance fee if you do golf, um, but plenty of, you know, your regular sports, kickball, volleyball, um, beach volleyball is really popular out here. All of those would be free if you have your equipment, you know, your own net, your own rackets, um, your own golf court, or not golf course, but your own golf clubs, um, basketball, you know, kickball, what have you. So sports um, and football. <laughs> I always forget about football because it's not my favorite. Don't fault me for saying that, guys. Number six is museums. Uh, there aren't necessarily a lot of free museums in San Diego, but there are a lot of options in terms of going on a specific date. Um, their rates either are discounted or free altogether, so I definitely encourage you to look up museums in San Diego, some of which, or a lot of which, are in Balboa Park. And you can definitely check out and go to the museums that are free or go to the museums on the days that they offer free entrance. Okay, so number seven, you guys, would be community events. Uh, San Diego is huge on community. That's why I like to call it my big city slash little town. Um, it definitely has a little town feel. There's always something going on. Uh, San Diego definitely likes things like um, their farmer's markets, 
there's uh, like free concerts and things just depending on the neighborhood that you're in. Um, you can also potentially find like car shows and other free events, uh, free live music, just kind of whatever you want. So I definitely recommend checking out your community calendar. It's most likely gonna be based on the neighborhood that you're in, um, but it's, it's really cool. I actually went to a free concert um, at a park on the 4th of July. So I spent Independence Day in Coronado and it was completely free day. I just went, I packed a lunch and I had hot dogs and chips and potato salad, you know, right there in the heart of Coronado. And then I saw fireworks and it was all free. So definitely community events. And that's gonna be like the last one on this list for everyone and then I'm just gonna get into a couple of the bonus um, things that you can do for free for military members. Okay, so number eight, you guys, if you have military ID, then this one's for you. Um, so there are a lot of Navy bases here, um, as I mentioned, and some of them actually have uh, free movie theaters on base. So you can take your military ID, watch free movies. They have pretty new releases. Um, so, you know, don't be shy. Uh, use those military benefits to your advantage. Thing to do number nine is actually gonna be Cabrillo National Monument. So this, guys, is also a, kind of a military thing. I mean, it, really anyone can go. It is actually on a military base, but if you don't have military ID, they charge you $20 for, I believe, two days. I've actually been there. I'll insert some pictures so I can show you what it looks like from the view from the top. Um, it's a really good lookout point, but if you have military ID, it is completely free. So definitely, definitely go there. Um, it's worth a day. Um, it, I could actually count as a hike also because there's quite a bit of walking, just getting from one point of it to another um, to see all of the different lookout spots. So another note about Cabrillo National Monument, guys, is um, that fee of $20 is only if you drive onto the monument. Um, if you are a motorcyclist, it's discounted to $15 uh, for the pass. Of the, I think it's still a two-day pass for motorcycles. And then if you are walking or biking onto the monument, then it's discounted even further to $10. And I believe that pass is valid for seven days. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm sure there's other things that you can do for free in San Diego that I just haven't found yet. Um, these are a couple of my top things to do so far. Um, if you have any other uh, things that you know of that are free for um, you know the average citizen to do in San Diego, please let me know. You know, put it in the description box below. I'll be yeah, extremely grateful for your help. And you know, just keep loving San Diego. Keep touring. See you next time.